Well, good morning, Interbit fans, and welcome to the preview for Scottsville, Sunday the 21st of July. There's an eight days program, 24 pentrometer, 4.5 meters. I'm obviously not making too much noise because I don't want to wake up the whole household. But let's go with this race meeting. First race, 12.20, and it's a maiden juvenile plate, 1,200 meters. Two, two cornered contests, as far as I can see. One field of wind backed, and it looks like the right horse looks like a big improver. And 13 edge of tomorrow gets Kamala. The blinkers are off, but the run before last is uh, the form that tells you this horse got to have a huge chance in this race. We then move on to race two, which is a maiden juvenile plate, 1750, three cornered contest. Kinnik, 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 Kinnik. Uh, Dean Calamo is runner number three. Is my top choice in each way bet. I think it will go very, very well, but it's got a good beat dapper. Uh, Paul Lafferty's runner has got a very good form. Burning Man looks like a big danger to both of them. So, absolute three corner contest and put them all into your white pot. Race three, maiden plate, fillies and mares. They go um, 1900 meters. I think it's 1950. Uh, I made it four horses. My top choice is seven. Yellow jacket that holds um, Facil on its f uh, current collateral form, but Facil might improve quite a lot. Gets Fury again and gets the blinkers. That's a big, big plus. So those are the two that will fight it out. I think one Silver Jubilee is a huge runner, and I'm not leaving that out either. And then the, the fourth best horse is number 10, Fate Decree. This might be the find of the race. It will improve with the jockey Muzieni. Um, has ridden it last twice, and I think this will improve a lot. Race four. This is a mirror rated handicap. Uh, 1950. Trying to get the distances right. I do like five ballroom blitz. I think this is, will run very well, but she got a penalty for uh, running third to Saki. Uh, she gets Kamala. That's uh, plus. Uh, he loves riding for the stable, and uh, she's going to be very tough, tough nut to crack. Woodland grade very good last two I've been following it it goes into everything so does two uh, hot strike uh, Muldi's run run seven times for three wins goes on the course and distance head of the speed rating really worth putting into reckless love has got some form but she's getting on now a bit um, and uh, escape ologist the other Dixon horse which is the better of the two I'm going with hot strike as the better of the two race five Mirror rated handicap at 1200 meters. Six, um, uh, not six. Eight, Strathclyde is my top choice. Uh, Richard Fourie for Tony Rivlin shows a lot of pace. Uh, good profile. Look at this horse. This horse is a three year old that's had eight runs, three wins. Uh, and uh, the favorite, Real Prince, well, that's had two runs, one win, and got to give Real Strathclyde weight. That's ridiculous. The handicappers just jump all over these horses, the Calamares that went first time out. And uh, the form hasn't been franked, uh, so who knows. Uh, it, he's obviously got ability and goes into play. Common grounds, I make a big danger. Number two, at the Diwa Magulwa rides that he rode it last time. But for has ridden it twice before that, and he's now on Strathclyde. The jockey bookie is the pointer here. Except, except Temptation, I think, is a really big runner. Calvin Habib aboard it, I think will go well. And then Good Travel, I never leave him out of anything, so he goes into play as well. Race six, mirror rated handicap at 1,000 meters. Well, none of these horses are going to be 1,000 meters except the Joburg horse called Agent, and they won a work riders race. So, who knows? I'm going with Buster Keaton, number one. He's six to one. I think if he had blinkers on him, I'd make him a good thing. He's a total underachiever. Um, Calvin takes a ride on him again, which is a good pointer. And he has got the draw, which makes a big, big difference. Purple Powerhouse, he's your joint favorite. Number three, Magudwa rides that. Northern Warrior, Benica rides. So let's go and see um, what Fouri rides. Well, he doesn't ride anything in the race. And that's a pointer that there's nothing is a standout in this race. Race seven. Merit rated handicap, they go 1,000 metres. I'm going one Mountains of the Moon at 5 to 1. Best each way on the card. Uh, Robbie Hill gets the right, uh, trains us for Kamala, gets the right, go very well. Mascherena, well worth including uh, in this race. It's a 1,500 metre, at least not a 
thousand years when I'm talking about Masharena. Got to go well. Tristan Godden's got very good form, uh, but Fauri hasn't taken the ride. He's taken the ride on Zinkeli, which is for the syndicate, so maybe uh, that's the right one. Imperious Destiny, another one for the syndicate. Um, the turf never won. Big problem. Okay, the speed rating. Malcolm Spree won well last time and gets a penalty. Race 8, mirror rated handicap, 1500 meters. Well, I'm going with two Prince of Green, Paul Matches runner. I think this is the right horse. He had a miserable day the other day when we fancied a couple of his. Maybe this will improve because it's not on the poly now. El Dante, don't leave him out. Uh, the stable comment is very positive, and MJ Woodendale loves to tell you what's going on with his horses, and I really like his transparency. He deserves everything he gets. All of uh, Wiley Riley, number nine, eight, ten, Ralph the Rascal, 13, Josephine's Pride, and six, Cybertime, come in with some sort of chance in a very difficult race if Prince of Green doesn't arrive. So from me, James Goodman, and I'll enter their team. Hope you have a great day's racing at Scottsville.